Sean and Ebony. We met living in Hawaii and decided that once the pandemic hit that it was time for us to buy our van and start our journey. Yeah. We uh, did a soft build to start where we threw an air mattress back here and some memory foam, mm -hmm. tied our suitcases to the wall and just went for it for about a month and we had a fantastic time. We hit a lot of major national parks yes. and we really got to see during that one month what we would need for our van once we were to build it so yeah we did um and so we actually were driving over to california to work on a van build with sean's dad mm -hmm. yeah yeah he was a huge help because i've had zero experience with this kind of thing and um, every weekend he was out here helping me put something together we had a great time yeah, and it was great because we neither of us really had experience with this at all. Mm -hmm. But I think I brought the idea to Sean, and mm -hmm. he was like, I can build it with no experience, but all the confidence in the world. <laughs> so it was great that we had the expertise of his dad to help with yeah, everything. 100%. Um, so yeah, so we finished the build April of this year. Yeah. We finished the build April of this year, and then we've been on a roll for the past seven months mm -hmm. and decided it was time to share our van tour with you all. Um, so hopefully we can help somebody and people are able to see that it doesn't cost you um, a lot of money to do it. Uh, we did our van build just being transparent with like a little under $10,000. It took us to include in the van yeah. to buy the van and do our build. So I don't want people to think that you have to have a Sprinter or a Pro Master to do this. It's an amazing life. We've been enjoying it. So we want to share it. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy our van tour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is our cab. Our van is a Ford Econoline E350. It has a 138-inch wheelbase. We named her Vinny Bella. That's a nickname for her, and we also call her Vin Bin. Here we have the backup camera. This is exactly how it was when we bought it, um, except for the fact that it's mounted up here. We actually moved it. But it came with the same radio, we just keep some charger cables down here. And right here, we call it like the junk drawer, but it's more like a junk basket. So we just have like some block up here, pack and tape if we have to ship anything out. And just like a leave and our pamphlets from the national parks. Down here, we have our jump starter. We found this on Amazon. We'll try to link it. I think the last time we looked for it, it wasn't there. So. Um, hopefully we can find one to suggest to you guys over here is our power station this we got when we did our soft build because we didn't have our solar set up yet and it was everything we needed riding in a van this is extremely important to have when it comes to your back and taking long rides so if you pull over to a park and we go to our gym and they don't have any foam rollers we'll just bring our own foam roller in Right here we have tables. These were actually supposed to be in the back, but we haven't yet gotten around to setting up the mechanism. And I don't know if we will, cause we really like the way the back is now. So right now we just use these as like lap desk up front if we're gonna eat up front or um, work on our computers. We also have our cooler, which was also a part of our soft build. And right now we take it to the beaches with us or to parks. We'll just keep some water or snacks up here on the road when we take longer trips and down here we have a heated blanket i actually got from my uncle um who's a trucker so this comes in handy when it does get pretty cold at night these are our heated seat covers i uh, found these on amazon uh, we use this on the road when it gets cold or just if we kind of have a back troubles uh, this is one really cool thing that we found too we actually saw it on another youtube video and we really needed more cup holders so we have these cup holders here and my baby got carried away and added like <laughs> four <laughs> so we have two up top here and two down here and we also have one on the side door which we'll show you so yeah that's everything for the cab and so sean is going to show you the back 
Alright, this is how we get in the back. We wanted to go for kind of a shiplap look, so we decided to run these the whole length of the wall in the back, and I actually used the extras for all the door paneling. And uh, top and bottom is insulated on every door, front and back. And we wanted to match all these lines horizontally to the ones on the wall. So when the doors are closed, you can actually um, see them run all the way down. So something that actually came with the van was the cage. Um, it came black on both sides. So we almost immediately painted it white on the inside just to match the rest of the decor throughout. And then um, I added this little piece up here for kind of privacy so light doesn't get out through the cab at night and security so someone can't reach in. Uh, up here we do have some of the overflow of our magnets from our magnet wall. Uh, we weren't originally planning on putting them up there but we actually kind of don't mind the look of it. We didn't really have a definitive plan for our sink system but we wanted to keep it simple. We didn't want to have gray water tanks and things like that necessarily. So we actually went with this USB rechargeable pump and um, we didn't want it to be sitting low like it was actually on the jug. So we added a pipe and a couple fittings that would fit perfectly. And that feeds from our five gallon replaceable water jug that we always refill at a Home Depot, Walmart, different places like that. And it's nice and easy for us. We uh, have two access points actually. We have a door on the back of the cabinet here and these two here. This door is more for just swapping out the jug. It's a lot easier than going from the inside. Um, inside, we also have our cleaning materials, our trash can, our broom and dust pan, and uh, our biodegradable soap. We also have our fire extinguisher and two of our first aid kits. Uh, we also have our collapsible bowl and cutting board. So the reason we went with this method instead of a traditional sink that's inset in the counter, uh, we didn't want to take up any additional space on the counter and we didn't want it to affect the overall height of the inside of the cabinet. And uh, we definitely enjoy this way a lot more and it allows us to just kind of use it and then put it away. All right, so when you step into our van, one of the things that really surprises everyone uh, is how much space we were actually able to keep in the van with everything we fed into it. Um, it was important to us to have enough floor space so that we didn't feel any smaller in the, in the van as we already naturally are going to feel, but also for me to be able to work out um, because that is one thing that I really thought about when it came to the van was if it rains or I just don't feel like going to the gym, I want to be able to work out. So when it came to the design of the van, Sean and I both really wanted to have a bookshelf. Um, it was imperative that we did because we have a lot of books and we wanted to get a lot of reading done on the road. And the bookshelf is actually surprisingly deep. Um, so the bookshelf and the tall cabinet was like a must have for, for us because we have jackets and shoes. I have uh, most of the shoes, but <laughs> but we both have shoes uh, that we wanted to get in. So in our tall cabinet, oh, first in our tall cabinet is actually the question we get asked about the most is where we go to the bathroom. So we have this commode here uh, that just kind of folds out and oh, let me move this over. It folds out and it has a ring on it that you put the bag in and then that's just kind of how we go to the bathroom and then we use like kitty litter uh, to cover it up and just dispose of it. So inside here, inside the cabinet, we have um, our gym bags, both his and I gym bag. And then we have our shoes all down here. We have our coats, we have our hats. And so yeah, we have maybe about 20 pairs of shoes in this basket here. We actually found a Target and it fit into the cabinet perfectly. All right, here we have our upper cabinet. And in it, uh, basically we mostly keep like our dry food. So we have uh, rice and pancake and waffle mix and oats. Uh, we have our salt and pepper here. Um, just some miscellaneous type things in this basket. But we have our hygiene uh, products over here, like our toothbrushes. Um, and then in our last bucket, we basically just have all of our vitamins. 
and all of the cabinets that we have actually have these catches so that when we drive if ever it's a hard turn nothing falls out we haven't had any incidences so that's good uh, but that's everything that's in our upper cabinet all right so down here is our backsplash it's actually a pill and stick that we found at Lowe's it was the first thing that we picked out for the van when it came to the design uh, we love the grays in it and we knew that that was definitely going to be one of the main colors in the build for our countertops we have butcher block which we stained with espresso stain we picked up at home depot all right and so on our countertop we have this patty press that turned into a soy candle our picture frame a succulent my polaroid camera and in this jar we just have a burlap sack that has hot chocolate in it and we wrapped it around with some string lighting and those turn on at night and then next to that here is just the book that we keep all of our photos from the polaroid and everything is held down with velcro strips that way we don't have to keep taking it down while we're driving okay so down here in our bottom cabinet this is actually where we keep the rest of our dry foods we have our pantry basket up above and we just keep like sugar and oil to cook with and peanut butter and jelly some bread and of course we have that barbecue sauce okay <laughs> so there's a plane in the sky going by all right so down here <laughs> we have our uh appliances and we have a george foreman grill up top we have our rice cooker and a waffle maker we also have this really cool eight inch pan that we found on amazon that only draws i think about um 800 watts or so so it's perfect for our system we also found this blender this portable blender at target and we use that for our smoothies on the road here we have some skincare and over here we have our shampoos and conditioners the mirror uh, in between the two is the only mirror that we have in the van. So um, we have that and below we have toilet paper and some beans, some canned beans. Up here in this basket, this is where we keep our plates and cups. We have some hot cups for uh, our hikes. We also have these mugs for our coffee and hot chocolate and just some cute hard plastic cups that I think I believe I got at Home Goods. Down here at the bottom is where we keep all of our utensils. So in this same container below, you will see that we have our tongs and our, um, is our can opener. Uh, in the bottom basket underneath that, we have some more seasonings and we have just this lemon uh, juicer and then some um, measurement cups and these cute little plastic champagne glasses. I think we got those at a Target as well mm -hmm. in like the party section. So that is everything that's in our bottom cabinet. Also, before I forget, this counter here is what we use to prep our food. And this is the counter that we use to cook on. Uh, one of the best things about traveling with the van is being able to have amazing places to cook. We have parked on the side of the road on the coastline and have been able to just pop the doors open cook our breakfast right with the water and it's just the most magical thing so that's one of my favorite parts about us having this cabinet here at the door so one of the final touches of the van that i actually really like is the ladder that i made this um, just kind of went in toward the end it took about a day or so to make and just absolutely ties everything together divides the cooking area from the living area really nicely and um yeah also, one of the favorite parts for me is the Max Air fan. Um, it was really stressful to install. Ebony actually had to go in the house while we were cutting the hole for it because it was so stressful. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely an essential for uh, staying cool on summer nights. Uh, we can bring in cool air from the back using the vents and get a nice cross breeze over the bed and it's fantastic. We also have our carbon monoxide detector and uh, want to talk about the seal. Uh, this took a lot of work. Uh, everybody loves it when they look at the van and I don't blame them. It is definitely one of those components that I definitely enjoy how difficult it was because it really paid off in the end. 
we also have recessed lighting that we hook up to our key fobs. So we can actually turn it off and back on remotely. And it's very helpful for security reasons or just ease of use if we feel like we've walked off without turning the lights on. Something that was definitely a first for me was installing wood flooring. This isn't real wood, this is luxury vinyl flooring. So it's a little bit different allowed us versatility with uh, temperature swings and causing it to expand and contract. This doesn't really do that as much. And it's also very uh, durable and very water resistant. Um, so we, we love it. It runs the whole length of the van under everything just in case. So for our seating in the van, we wanted to make sure, especially with this not being a high top roof, and we can't stand up, we wanna make sure we have a lot of seating area. So we have two seats, I'm sitting in one right now. They're very wide, they allow a lot of room to feel like uh, you're not in a confined space, which we're not. Uh, we can spread our legs out, no problem. We tend to read in each of these spots, work on things, and we actually have these nice trays next to us and a USB dock as well and dim dimmer. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I know we're outside, but why do they want to be inside? All right, so now let's talk about our trays. So on each seat, we have our own tray. This one, we have our handheld vacuum and also some little things like the attachments for it and the charger. This is a really helpful uh, rechargeable vacuum. And on this side, we have our USB dock uh, we have four USB spots and our voltage meter as well, and also our light dimmer. Inside the seat, we have our extension cable that leads from our inverter that we use for cooking. And uh, our switch for the inverter and extra um, outlets as well. We didn't want to incorporate the outlets into the outside of the seat here because we oftentimes cook with the drawer open and we just want it to go for a much cleaner look. Um, inside here, we also have our outside screen for our projector. It's much, much larger. Uh, we normally dangle that with our paracord between two trees and watch a movie in a campsite. Also in my seat, we got my shaving kit, uh, a bunch of extra cables that go to pretty much every device in the van, and uh, also some camping gear at the bottom. So before I show you all into my seat, I want to talk about our cushions that we actually have. We have these two cushions. When we did our soft build, we got a blow up air mattress, and we got these two cushions from Home Depot. So we took it to someone in California, and we had him do this quilted leather underneath here for when it's um, hotter outside, it's our cooler side. And when it gets a little colder, we put it on the fabric side. So over here, we have our cushion. This is one of three cushions that we had made in uh, Spokane, Washington. And then up here, I did this one myself for the tray on my seat. We have our sunglass cases some hand sanitizer and this Fiji bottle air uh, pod holder and my seat basically just like my hair products and uh, blow dryer my workout equipment I have resistance bands some uh, knee and ankle braces because of age and <laughs> some books <laughs> some books uh, extra books that we can't fit on our uh, bookshelf and journals and things like that in my seat. <laughs> you had the full on. <laughs> All right. You know it was good when you. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready too. All right, so now Sean is going to show you where we keep our clothes. So we put our drawer on. 500 pound locking drawer slides so that we're able to sit and lounge on these with no issue. They can hold both our weight. But this is our third cushion that we had made in Spokane. It fits perfectly under the bed. Here, 
we have all of our clothes for about two seasons worth. Um, we have everything in sealed bags, which is nice. Two layers deep. And now I'll show you how to make the bed. All right, so first we pull the other cushions off the sides. And then we also bring our other pillows down. And this adds a little bit of height for our main cushions. And these add all the cushion we need as well as matches the height of our actual mattress perfectly. Uh, when we designed our bed, we knew we were gonna be able to lay uh, side to side because it's about six foot two inches uh, across, but we wanted to have the option to sleep the wrong way which is about seven feet. It basically turns our full-size bed into a king-size bed. <laughs> okay, so for our entertainment, we didn't want to have like an actual TV in here. We really love like projector screen screens. We have a really big one that we normally set up outside. Um, so I searched all over the internet in order to find a projector screen that was small enough just to fit in a van and I found this perfect one on Amazon um, and we love it. We use it mm -hmm. a lot for our movie nights and even our TV shows. Yeah. And yeah, so. Yeah, and this is where we set up the projector itself. Um, we tend to be laying on the bed and just kick back for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're typically not sitting down here. This is the first time we actually sat down here. Mm -hmm. So we were like, we might start sitting down here on the floor and then just watching it like that because it's you can see we have a whole lot of space behind it so it's not right up on our faces um but we'll see we really do like to just lay down and watch our movies so <laughs> in the next clip you'll see how everything is set up in the back under the bed all right okay <laughs> okay this is our back uh, we have up currently a sheer curtain that we like to put up on the back doors and the side doors gives us a little bit more privacy, kind of keeps the bugs out, and uh, lets in a lot of light and a lot of fresh air. Right? So on both doors, we have these really nice vents that we found that allow us to open and close them in either direction. It allows us to get a great cross breeze in pretty much any weather that goes straight across the bed as it gets sucked out the max air vent. All right, I'll take this down and then we'll get into what's underneath here. Yep. Cool. So we opted for an ice retention cooler instead of a fridge on the inside because of space reasons and also not wanting to really upgrade our solar system. Uh, we wanted to keep it very simple and not too extravagant. On the inside we keep our pretty usual um, spinach, our meatballs, our egg container, and tomatoes, different things like that, our yogurts. Behind it over here, we have our solar shower, which we set up uh, when we're camping and things like that. And uh, we set up both curtains kind of on either side of the back doors with some magnets, and it works great. We get a lot of water pressure. Um, the shower head just comes over the rack and right down the middle, and it works great. Uh, for the most part though, especially in cities, we go to Planet Fitness. Uh, we have a black card membership. So it's $20 a month. We both get in, both can do our showers or workouts. Yep, we love it. And so on the left side, we have our duffel bags we use as carry-ons for all of our trips. And uh, we've got her cold shoes <laughs> and some of her workout shoes and our beach towels and things like that here. Right here though, this is where we keep uh, pretty much all our out of season clothing. Um, bag is huge. <laughs> it can hold a ridiculous amount. And we're really not that minimalist, honestly. By the time <laughs> you take this into consideration. So right here we have our shower tent. And uh, behind here we have our set of two folding chairs and a fold out table that we love. We found it at Walmart. Uh, I believe it's Ozark Trails, the Walmart brand. And uh, we also have our hammock that we've set up on some pretty beautiful cliffs all across the country at this point. 
um, along with this is where we actually keep our bug nets and our shower curtains right here on the left and behind these chairs we have some of our favorite things in the van that we designed a space back here specifically for and that's our electric scooters we can fold those out and we ride them around for a day and uh, we can actually charge them both at the same time on our solar system which is really nice for our solar on top of the van we have two 100 watt uh, renergy solar panels and down here for our solar array let me get some of this stuff out the way we have our bug nuts here that we put on the side of the van and in the back and then here is the bag that actually holds our uh, shower curtains so if you look back here you can see our uh, Duracell AGM marine RV battery that's 100 amp hours and over here we have a 1000 watt inverter below that is a MPPT charge controller uh, it's rated for a hundred uh, volts and 30 amps and so over here we have a fuse box right here this box right here is actually the receiver for our remote for our recess lighting and then we just have some uh, switches down there some breaker switches all right so that was everything for the back of the van and our solar system we want to thank you all for tuning in to our van tour we're going to go watch a movie thank you so much and uh, we'll catch you in the next video we'll catch you in the next video